This is a no fluff video about how to edit multi-camera footage inside Timebolt. The feature is called Shift. It's not push button simple, but if you follow this video, you can be successful at it. I use Final Cut to edit. The process is the same for Premiere and Resolve. You're gonna identify the time delay gaps between cams where the audio syncs. Then cut a master timeline in Timebolt. Fourth, you're gonna use our shift feature to apply master cuts to the other cameras. And finally, you're gonna export XML back into your NLE with every cut now synced. Two very important tips before you start. One, make sure that you capture at the same frames per second ratio on all cameras or your audio will go out of sync. Again, same frame rate across camera sources. Second tip, you're gonna to wanna to hit the record button on your master audio first and stop it last. It just makes it more simple when you're lining up the cameras inside the NLE to calculate the shift distances. Again, master audio, make it your longest file. Step one, I'm gonna start a new project and make sure that the overall frame rate is set to 29.97, which is what I captured my video at. Once I bring my media files in, you don't wanna alter these source files at all. I put my master audio on the bottom, you line it up on an audio cue like a clap. I basically did two different claps here. One, two, three. And now what we do is we're gonna identify the time shifts between clips. Master audio is what we call the reference file inside Timebolt. This is the file we will cut the timeline to and then apply the cuts using the shift feature in Timebolt. As you can see, the master audio starts at 0.00. .00. Cam one starts at 3018. Cam two is 2511. And cam three is 1313, which just basically means that the start of the clip is delayed by 13 seconds and 13 frames. First, I'm gonna select my master file inside Timebolt. As you know, I can cut or keep any scene on the timeline, uh, get rid of some of these early starts. Once the timeline is fully edited, I click Save Timeline Cuts to save the cuts as a JSON file. I then click Export FCP XML for Final Cut, or if you're doing Resolve in Premiere, you do Export XML. As you can see right here, my frame rate is 29.97. That is how you check the frame rates inside uh, to, to make sure that your frame rates are consistent. Now, before I can apply the master cut file to the other cameras, we have to calculate how much to shift the cuts on the remaining three cameras. To calculate shifts, you go into the top nav bar, you click Utilities, click Multicam Sync Helper. Once you click this, it opens a web page and you start to set your project se sequence frame rate. Mine is 29.97, click Add Clip. First clip I'm gonna add is my master reference clip, okay, that starts at 000. This one is my reference clip, and we'll put master audio. Cam one starts at 3018, cam two, 2511, cam three starts at 1313. Hit calculate shifts. I then open cam one, click apply timeline cuts, and on cam one, we're gonna be shifting by 30.601. Apply the master audio JSON file. The cuts are applied in the correct position for cam one. I click export Final Cut Pro XML, so I have the XML file. I then do this for cam two, and now cam three, after I load up the file. Again, click JSON. Master JSON audio file, and once again, Cam 3, the cuts are made perfectly to how you edited the reference clip. It's all downhill from here. Now I'm going to import my XML files, starting with my master reference file. At this time, I just go ahead and double click it, and as you can see, all the clips are entirely laid out. This is my master file. Before I start stacking the clips, I do an option W that adds a spacer to the end because as I begin to copy and paste clips, it'll add it to the end of the timeline and it makes it much easier to uh, discern where to copy and paste from the exact file. So I do this and then I've already brought in my XML for camera one, camera two, camera three. Okay. And so for example, camera one, command copy, go back to my master audio, paste that, and then I select this whole group right here and pull it all to the top of the timeline. I do the exact same thing for camera two and camera three, and voila, you have multi-camera footage all synced to a master audio file. But hey, let's not go so fast. When I click on the zoom timeline and zoom in, I can actually see that camera two here appears to be out of sync. All the rest of them are entirely synced up across the audio. 
but it looks like camera two is out of sync. Why is that? When this happens, you're gonna to wanna to check the XML extension saved in Time Bolt to make sure that all your footage is shot at the same frames per second. Okay, as you can see, camera two, by the end of this extension, okay, it was shot at 30 frames per second, not the project frame rate and the other fr matching the frame rate of the other cameras at 29.9 seconds. That is why you see a level of drift here. And that's it for this multi-camera explainer video. This is to your success, and I'm out of time. <laughs>